G'day there. In this video I wanted to show you the Swiss system as developed by Slider uh, running 50 LEDs from a single transmitter which is this coil here and it'll be running from a single AA battery. Uh, it must be a semi-flat AA battery. A full one won't run it and I will be showing that too. So firstly let me just show you over the system a bit. As you'll note I have a receiver coil under the table, we'll come back to that in a minute. Now I have here, we'll go to where the battery goes. We put our battery in here and the positive power comes out this way, around this way and to the emitter of my PNP transistor. Uh, the negative coil follows the black line around into the white lead around that loop and into the centre tap for the coil and my scope probe is also there. Uh, this scope probe will be on the blue channel. It is set to the 10 times range. Uh, I have another scope probe over here on this large receiver coil at the bottom. Every other coil here is simply a receiver. I have a bunch of chokes with LEDs stuck to them as you can see. This is all sorts of different coils there. And this coil here is the only one that's transmitting anything. And that's just running from that single AA that will be going in over there and this PNP transistor which is in that aluminium heat sink clamp to keep it cool because it does get hot. Okay so before we dim the lights and show you what's going on I'll just zoom in on this multimeter and I'll show you what I've got in these batteries here. So I'm set to the 2 volt scale and in the big Duracell at the back I have just over one and a half volts in this green rechargeable I have 1.37 in this grey one I have 1.32 and in the ever ready down the front I have 1.16 so I'm just going to close the curtains here. It's nice and dark. Back out. And I'll be going for the grey battery. And there we go. We have 50 LEDs if you want to count all them. Now's a good time to pause. All lit up. Oh, I'll just knock the heat off over. But, uh, they do all light up. Some of these ones are a bit weaker, they only work in the middle of the transmitter. And one of those, those LEDs there, that are flashing, as my coil's shorting out, are uh, from this under the table coil. And I'll just turn my scope on. Should have done that before. And we can see here in the blue line which is hooked up to my collector on my transistor. Oops, help you can see. Uh, I am getting positive volts of 20 and negative spikes of 50, giving me a peak to peak of around 75. It's flickering up and down a bit. And on my yellow line which is actually hooked up to the large coil underneath, you can see the resonance. So there's the fire from the transmitter and there's this large coil underneath resonating quite nicely. And I think that's what's pretty much powering everything here so well. And I did have a nice find that you get pick up off the, um, any loops or any little blocks made of um, preferably a positive and a negative side. 
but even just a single polarity loop will light up the receivers in, when placed inside the loop. So there you go, I will be doing another video shortly to explain more about the different receivers I've got here and a bit more about the resonance on the scope. Thanks for watching.